When I was a kid, you know, I used to see my father uh, working quite hard for Patek. Uh, of course, people believe today uh, that Patek Philippe was always that big. It was not the case. Uh, we had to work very hard at the time with just a few watches. And when I was a kid, I could really see my father working night and days. And I used to go quite often in his office. And that's where I really I started to enjoy watches because he was really very uh, deeply involved in everything. So a lot of time uh, I could have the chance to see those pieces on his desk and that's where I really um, I started to enjoy them and for a family business uh, you need to enjoy what you're doing because otherwise there is no way you can run a family business just like that you need to be part of it you need to be 100% involved and maybe 200% involved and first of all uh, you need to enjoy what you do and this is something for me who was quite easy because since a child I was always asking my dad when can I start making watches and he was always uh, telling me well you have time we'll see and uh, well, I never stopped saying that and today that's why I'm here also because I'm still doing the watches and I'm still uh, involved 200% and this is something quite fabulous, you know, to be able to do what you, what you like. I wish everybody could do that. Normally you can see with other brands there's a lot of research with uh, for example product manager or a lot of analyzers. Uh, with a family business it's maybe a little bit different uh, as you are totally involved you don't need really to have that because you are the one facing the client, you are the one facing the retailers. So all those information I, I get them live and this is why I'm traveling also so often to, to meet my clients, to, to meet the final clients and you have just to listen and to see see what are their needs and then you have your own opinion also in terms of quality. Uh, this, is, this is something I have learned through all those years, you know, by looking at the collection here and by listening also to my dad. He was the one telling me you should not do that or you should maybe do this. And that's the only way to learn how to keep and maintain a certain level of quality and aesthetic. Uh, we are not a fashion brand, so when I started, and that's totally normal, I wanted to do something more fashion, I would say. And my father was there to prevent uh, maybe that I was doing a mistake by launching a watch who will be very successful for six months, one year, and then it's over. So I have learned a lot with him, and uh, in talking with my dad, I started also to learn to be a little bit more wise and to look further in the future. That was very important. And you need uh, always to maintain this level of uh, creativity. I don't want to stop that, and I think nobody here will, uh, will understand that. You know, Ideas, there is a lot of them. The only problem, you need to know how to fabricate them. And, and that's really the challenge today. But the ideas, there are plenty of them. Thank you.